Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of My Road to PPL. Today I'll be talking about what's inside my flight bag. A new student pilot coming into the world of real world flight training and aviation. What I need it for, where I got it from, is it worth it and do you need it? Well let's see, today I'll be running through what's in my bag and everything really about it. I'm going flying for my first proper flight lesson in a few weeks time so it'll be interesting to see after I've got my license hopefully in a few months if it's worth it. Hopefully this video looks better than the last one, I've sorted out my rig a bit, new microphone, cameras in a better location and better lighting so make sure you put your thoughts in the comments. I'm very excited to go through my new flight bag that I've just packed and I think, I think by the looks of it, I've got myself a bit of a bargain. I'll be showing you how you can get one of these as well. Uh, all the links are in the description. Before we get into this video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe to stay up to date with everything Microsoft Flight Simulator, aviation, flight training and everything in between really. But now, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are, here's my flight bag. As you can see, this bag's actually made for pilots, which means it has loads of fantastic little compartments for you to put your stuff in. I've put a link in the description of where I got this bag from. It's from a store called Flight Store. Um, it cost me £239. For everything you see in this bag, plus a few more things coming in the post, we've got another PPL Air Pilot Manual book coming along, you'll see what I mean in a minute, and my local, I say local, but South England CAA VFR chart, which is of course a map for flying in very simple terms and very important. Let's open up the bag now and see what we've got in the front. Of course, I know, but you guys don't. So in the front of the bag, Behind that, I've got my, of course, flight logbook. Of course, very important stuff. Looking inside, you can see it's got plenty of places and plenty of space for me to put my flying hours in. Multi engine, single engine, pilot in command, uh, second pilot, etc. Got a bit of space at the front to put uh, new airports or airports visited in. Uh, it is really basically a basic logbook. Not too much to talk about there. In addition to that, we've got what will be where my flight license is hopefully held. Here we've got a pilot license holder. Opening it up inside, all we've got is my class two medical at the moment. If you haven't seen my video on that, I recommend uh, you go check it out. I put a link in the top now. Let's close that up. And of course here, you can see on the tube, uh, we've got an aircraft fuel tester. I've left it in the box just so it doesn't get damaged at home, but I imagine I will, there will be a time where I just leave it like this. As you know, you've got to test your fuel in your aircraft, it's uh, what you're taught in your PPL, and for good reason, you don't want any water or contaminants, etc. in your fuel, so I don't actually know how to use it yet, I guess I'll figure it out. Also got a screwdriver on the end, um, which is pretty cool, but there we go, fuel tester. Now, moving over to the left-hand side of the bag, or well, that might be right side because the camera's flipped, we've got the headset holder. Now, the headset is the only thing that I didn't get included uh, with this package. I'll talk more about that later, but I've got, I basically, I actually won this in a giveaway. Uh, very lucky. I won it off FTA. Um, I'm not too sure how good of a headset it is. I've tried it out. It's, it's fairly comfortable. Um, headsets are actually really important because, of course, you don't really want to be flying with an uncomfortable headset. Um, but I haven't actually been flying it with it, so it'll be interesting to see um, how it compares. I might upgrade to a David Clark one where later down the line, um, but really it's an unneeded expense at the moment. This, I imagine, will be pretty comfortable. Uh, we've got a microphone up there, uh, FTA on the side, which is based down at Shoreham. So yeah, it'll be nice to see how that works. Uh, but I haven't tried it out yet, it's just sitting in my bag, ready to go. That is the only thing, except from a checklist, that didn't come with this package. Everything else you see, I've got. Now, of course, I'm going to struggle closing it, so let's use the magic of video and cut to me closing it. God, look at that. Magic of cinema. Anyway, guys, let's look into the top of the bag now. So 
So here you go, here you can see the inside of my bag. It's quite heavy actually because I've got a bunch of books down there. I'm sure many of you can work out what this is. It's of course a high vis. Now generally you won't find me wearing this uh, when you're flying. Primarily because it's filled with nylon. You don't want to be wearing nylon when you're flying. If you're in a crash or fire or anything you really are going to get some nasty burns uh, from that. But as you can see nicely uh, done. It says air crew on the black back. Um, but yeah, high vis only some airports require it. It's not going to be a massive thing PPL wise and for good reason I don't really want to end up in a crash for one but in case I do I don't want severe nylon burns sticking to me either Moving back into the top here. We've got a Pulis VFR flight log pad It's got I don't know how many pages probably about 200 of uh, this. Let's take a look I don't know if that's going to come into focus you can see we've got uh, pilot name, aircraft date, from to destin uh, distance and estimated distance. Uh, we've got all our fuel stuff down there. This, of course, will go with a knee pad. I'll show you what that is in a minute. Um, but yeah, just a big old pad of paper saying the same old thing really but there we go moving on in this little box it won't be in a box for long i imagine we've got this very nice and very powerful led torch let me shine it in the camera to show you how bright it is <laughs> it's very bright i don't really want that shown in my eyes um, but you're getting it now as you can see incredibly bright for a few leds in there uh, three batteries, I think, and they were included with it, which is always very nice. Of course, it's more for night fly, which I don't imagine I'll be doing for a while. But if it's ever dark, slightly with a bit of cloud, or evening, or dawn, then it might come in handy. And, of course, for looking in little spaces as well. Now, looking in the bottom of the bag, now we're really working down um, to the last few bits. Let's pull out something from here. We've got a knee board. We've got a few more bits on the back as well. But this is what I was talking about earlier. So here is our knee board. As you can see, it's got the bits of paper on. I put that on there to show you guys. This basically straps onto your knee. Um, so when you're doing your navigation flights, which is in the later stages of the PPL, sounded a bit Australian there, don't know why. Um, yeah, this will be strapped to your knee. You can just wipe stuff down. Although, of course, uh, I don't imagine I'll be using this straight away. I don't know, maybe I will be, maybe I'm completely wrong. But seeing as I've got to learn how to really fly a plane first, um, I think this will probably see some use later. Of course, you can take the paper off using this clip up here, and you get a very nice set. It looks very stylish, actually. I quite like it, but there we go. Moving on, we've got a basic Cessna 152 checklist. I'll be flying this aircraft not long. Hopefully I'll get some footage up, although for the first few lessons, understandably, I don't really want to be worrying about filming. Uh, but yeah, basic checklist. This wasn't included in the pack. Some packs do include them, but of course, seeing as everyone's going to be flying different aircraft, it's probably quite logistical to be able to go and offer so many options. These were about five quid second hand and they do the job very well. Just make sure you get an up-to-date one um, because they can be different. But of course, as they're external, um, they shouldn't be used as like the final word. Always refer to your aircraft manual. That seems to be the proper approach, but of course I'm starting out. Now you guys saw the books there. We're gonna get all the books out and I'm gonna talk about the exam. So let's get them out now. So here we are, we've got all our books out now. I am missing one because that's in reprint, so that will be coming through the post soon. We've got flight training here, and that will just talk about um, the basics of flying training, the procedures you'll do, the procedures you'll learn, and everything like that. They're split up into pretty good segments by the looks of it. I've started reading through it. I already had this one actually, so now I've got two of them. But anyway, here we've got navigation, which of course comes in the later parts of the flight. I don't really want to put it on video because uh, people can be funny about stuff like that. But yeah, there we go. You can see it's just talking about how to follow. You've got, of course, flight, visual flight rules, stuff like that, but also tapping into using radios, VOR, etc. Humans, human performance and limitations. Uh, that's the human side of aviation. And of course, all of these have their own multiple choice exam to a certain extent. You've also got the radio exam, which I can't wait to do. I really enjoy being on the radio, really fun. Um, but yeah, all of these have got their own multiple choice exam. First one you've got to do is air law and, and meteorological conditions. I haven't got that one yet. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll come fully post soon. Communications, the smallest of all the books because VFR communications is relatively straightforward. 
and uh, technical side of the aeroplane, which I haven't looked through yet. Principles of flight is going to be a lot of fun. I might start reading through that one tonight, and then of course read it again through my training, just for fun. There's all the books. They all have their own individual exam to a certain extent. And of course you need to pass all of them exams with a pass mark of 75% to be able to get your PPL. And I reckon most of you will find Flight Simulation builds a good foundation there. But anyway, let's put these in the back in the bag now because there's so many and they're rather heavy. Right, final few bits in the bag now. I should say we're waiting for one more book and a VFR chart. I did say earlier, I'll put a photo of what one of them looks like on the screen now. Well, 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 what is this interesting contraption? I've got to be honest, I'm still figuring it out. I've been looking up online and I guess my instructor will tell me, so I don't need to worry about it too much. But it is one of the only analog computers still in widespread use in the 21st century. It's a flight computer. You can use it to work out a variety of things, often relating to pressure and distance. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it. As you can see, it does look very old. Now, if you want to buy one of these brand new, you'll be looking for around £50 uh, to £60. And then, of course, you get the new uh, fancy electronic ones, and they can be a bit more. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to be excited to see how to get to use it, because, of course, you twist the circles, and I'm sure it does something. It'll point you somewhere, and you can use it with your navigation chart as well. Interesting stuff. Speaking of interesting stuff, we've got a ruler here and a protractor and a, I forgot what they're called, flight square I believe. Um, all basically used in conjunction uh, with your navigational chart and the flight computer to flight plan, fuel plan, etc. I'm really excited to use all this stuff. I haven't opened them yet because I have no requirement to, um, but when I do, there will certainly be many videos on it because I want you guys to see how personally I experience it. So if you're planning on going into flight school, flight training, etc, you know what to expect. Very long ruler, very sturdy stuff, but yeah, that's, there's the three main navigation bits. On top of that we've got the flight computer and of course our VFI chart. Finally, and everything has to have the basics, we get a little set of pens. And that will go in conjunction with your navigation chart if you've got an overlay, or of course your kneeboard to write down. They're nice, they're, they're pretty solid pens, I've got to be honest, uh, but nothing too fancy. I'll need to get a good proper biro pen or something to come along with me. But there we go, that's what's in a pilot's bag, a, a new student pilot's bag. Of course, down the line, I'll put a few more bits in there, sunglasses, maybe a first aid kit or something, but who knows, I guess it just comes with my flight training to add stuff to it. I am excited, as I said, £230 for almost everything you've seen in this video, certainly very affordable, because those books on their own, to get the whole series, you're looking at about £150, flight computer, as I said, you're looking at anywhere from £50 to £70, to get everything else for £20, I do think it's a pretty good bargain, including the bag. But there we go guys, that's what's in a new student pilot's bag, I hope you have. So there we have it guys, I hope you've really enjoyed this Road to PPL episode 2 video. If you want to see more of this to stay up to date with everything you need to know about my flight training and potentially your flight training, as well as getting some nice tips on how to do it and experiences um, from someone probably in your situation, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. My world's not perfect on these videos, it might look close to perfect, but trust me, a lot of hard work goes into it, so your support really does help, I really do mean it. Anyway guys, from me today, thanks for watching and thank you to my first class channel members, but from me today, that is all, bye bye.